Hey admins, welcome to this month's edition of What's New for G Suite Admins. I'm Shoshana, and I'm back with the feature updates from July. Let's get started. Here's the headline news from July. We're launching an early adopter program for a new investigation tool in the G Suite Security Center, which helps you identify, triage, and remediate security threats within your organization. The tool helps you identify security issues within your domain using advanced search capability, triage threats targeting users, devices, or data, and take bulk actions to limit the propagation and impact of threats. The investigation tool adds to the Security Center with powerful incident investigation and integrated remediation capability. This lets you conduct organization-wide searches across multiple data sources, such as Gmail, Google Drive, and device logs, identify and delete malicious emails from users' inboxes, examine drive files being shared externally, and take action to stop potential misuse, pivot across searches to connect results, suspend accounts or wipe devices that are compromised or running a vulnerable OS version, and execute domain-wide access changes and set IRM controls on drive files. We're excited to extend an early adopter program for the investigation tool for G Suite Enterprise and G Suite Enterprise for Education domains. Click on the link in the presentation notes below to learn more about applying. And now for our admin updates. Some multinational organizations have requirements around where their data is stored. With this new feature, you can designate the region in which your primary data is stored for select G Suite apps, globally, in the US, or in Europe. Setting up and managing data regions is quick and easy. There are no minimum seat requirements, you can change your covered data's location at any time, and all data moves are completed within months. When a file's owner changes or moves to another OU, we automatically move the corresponding data accordingly. If a new user joins your organization, their data is automatically located based on their specific OU's policies. We also give you up-to-date insights into the status of your data moves so you can stay on top of any changes you've made. At launch, you'll be able to designate data regions for primary data for G Suite services like Gmail, Calendar, Drive, Hangouts Chat, Docs, Sheets, and more. Visit the Help Center for more information. We're always looking for new ways to keep your users' accounts secure and your organization's data safe. As part of this effort, users can now be asked to verify their identity through their employee ID when they sign into their G Suite accounts. This will better protect your users from hijacking attempts because the employee IDs are more difficult to guess and fish than many other types of identity challenges. The employee ID login challenge can only be deployed in your domain where you've provided the ID information for your users. You can do this in one of three ways. Upload employee IDs directly into the admin console. Use Google Cloud Directory Sync to pull employee IDs from Microsoft Active Directory or an LDAP server or use the G Suite Admin SDK Directory API to populate employee IDs into the correct fields. You can turn on the Login Challenge from the Admin Console. Go to Security, click Login Challenges, and select the Use Employee ID to Keep My Users More Secure checkbox. Note that the Employee ID Login Challenge is off by default. If you choose to activate this login challenge, make sure your users know where they can find their employee ID and that they may be asked for it when they sign in. Check out the Help Center to learn more. We're making it easy for you to move G Suite reporting and audit data from the admin console to Google BigQuery. This can help you create highly customizable, comprehensive, and scalable reports to audit and analyze G Suite usage and adoption. For example, you can analyze individual activity behavior information, report aggregated usage metrics, perform advanced analysis, or create custom reporting and dashboards. BigQuery is a powerful reporting solution that provides scalability, a simple querying interface, out-of-the-box reporting, and pay only if you use it. See our Help Center to find out more about BigQuery. The device audit log in the admin console provides a report on the activities of managed mobile and desktop devices in your organization. We're now showing some of the events in this report to G Suite Business, Enterprise, 
and Enterprise for Education customers with basic mobile management and endpoint verification enabled as well. You can now find out when a G Suite account has been added to a device and learn when device screen locks have been enabled and disabled. In addition, the device's audit log will now contain admin activities, like when an account wipe has been requested or executed. At launch, for basic mobile management and endpoint verification customers, this report will only show events on managed Android and endpoint verification devices. You can find this report in the admin console by going to Reports, and on the left side under Audits, click Devices. To learn more, check out our Help Center. Well, that's it for July's updates. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and save the playlists. You can also check out our G Suite release calendar and What's New newsletter to stay informed. Follow the links in the video description to learn more about these updates. This has been Shoshana with What's New for G Suite Admins July Edition. Thanks for watching.